today I'm with Girl on Her Bike. We're at the Mountaintop Cafe. Just unloaded the bikes. Now we're just gonna go rip around in one of my favorite areas. I think you're gonna have a lot of fun. Here we go. Sorry. I, I don't know. Let me go investigate. I crashed! <laughs> Sorry, Honda. I sure have looped it. You need some front wheel drive? Yeah. Well, it's like the dick I've dug. <laughs> I like that bike. It's all good. One more with it. Tired, man. How's that sand hill? Favorite part of the day? We'll go over that little hump right there and then hang on for your dear life. And then we're gonna get to the top of that. It's gonna be epic. Oh You got it. All right, let's go down, go back up, and around.
fucking great. <laughs> Fun? You have a lot of energy. I ride this bike so much better than my WR. Really? It feels planted. I'm more confident. I can charge down hills. Because it's lighter? I don't know. I just think it's a better motorcycle. I can't pinpoint what it is. Probably suspension, right? I don't know. Is that in the radiator or is that already there? Uh, uh oh. Yeah, I probably did that. Where are we going? Just up the hill? Yep. <laughs> this bike vibrates you, dude. My feet are already numb. Cajon Pass, here we go. It's not so bad, huh? I did not expect that at all. It's like some monster, isn't it? Yeah, I felt very comfortable and I kind of want one now. What is it that makes this thing so stable? It like the bars weren't- I have no idea. Everything I hit was just so smooth. If we were really motivated and had like a lot of fuel, we could just keep going and follow these trails in the Big Bear. What? We wouldn't be able to do it, you and I. We'd have to have like other people that knew what was up. A GoPro.
I think the train's coming. Yeah! Yeah! It's just something so cool about riding motorcycles next to a train. I love riding, man. It's so much fun. If you guys are on the fence thinking about buying a bike, I do encourage you to do it. And I do encourage you to buy a dirt bike before you start riding in the street. Whoa. She got it. We did good, all day. No big wrecks either, just tiny little ones, so far. So far. There's one more. Got it. Whew. All right. Yeah. Okay. Fuck it. Let's do it. Since this hill gave us so many problems, there's a couple others right here that go straight up. Should we do it? What the heck? We gotta try it. I'm not giving up. There she goes.
I wish you guys could see how steep this really is. It's insane. I think we had a good day. Let's just go while we're ahead, huh? My bike will not make it. Yeah, this one ran out of steam too. You just dig in. I think it's tires. I bet with the right tires, we just conquer everything like King Kong. <laughs> I crashed here earlier. I see my marks. It's one day riding around with Gina. It's always fun riding around with her. Awesome day on the Honda too, man. I love this bike. Make sure you check out my other channel, Suburban Delinquent Street Channel. Street bike channel, you'll like it. Maybe, maybe not. Huge shout out to all the patrons of the channel. You know I love you. Also, please support the channel sponsors, Chaparral Moto, the law offices of Henry Haddad, and Voss Helmets. Each one of those companies are useful. Check them out, support them. All right, fun day. That was a good day, man. Good, good day. You know what? Nothing got broke. Well, this got broke. Sorry, Honda. Make sure you go over to Gina's channel, see what she's up to. Support her company, Havoc, as well. They make some killer goggles. I'll catch you guys later. We're going to go in there and get some soup or something. What do you think? Soup? Yeah, definitely soup. I'll tell you what, Gina, the one thing that the dirt bikes have done for me, it's made me healthier and it's opened up my eyes and I'm way more open-minded towards everything now. I feel like you just got in this rut of having to do YouTube and like all the stress and then people and then like where you stand in the society and then all these events and, and like, I don't know, like I like most people who ride street, but I feel like that community is really toxic. I just feel like there's just so much shit talking and everybody's got to be like somebody and like all this stuff but then you get, you get to the dirt community, nobody cares, everybody wants you to do good, everybody wants to see you succeed and no one wants to see you fail and everybody wants to help and then on top of that when you're out here there's nothing that could stress you out out here like you are a literal free bird in the middle yeah. of nowhere you can go any which way direction you want but even on the street like yeah it relieves some stress but you, there's still rules and you have to go here you have to go there but here you don't have to do anything you don't want to do you can do whatever you want it's like a completely different way of thinking and riding and a different experience altogether. And I just, I think it's more healthy than, you know, like what we used to be doing on the street. I get really stressed out now riding on the street. Every day you're looking over your shoulder for cops. You're worried you're going to get hit. How many times do you think you almost died and you're not even aware of it? You're just riding and there's like shit going on behind you and you're not even, I, and I, I come to that conclusion with Z. When, when I was riding with Z so many years ago, I would watch him put himself in like weird situations where he almost got run over and he doesn't even know he almost got run over. He's just all hunky dory riding down the road. Meanwhile, he just got almost run over by a semi truck. That stresses me out. The ticket stressed me out. And I've been doing it for so long. This is so new and so fun, and it, it, it did. It, it brought a new person out of me. I also think this is more of like, you involve your friends and your family doing this, you know? Like, yeah. you can get everybody like, hey, let's all go to Ocotillo, like, doesn't matter what your skill level is. But on the streets, like, you can't just invite everybody, you know? You can't invite your mom, your sister, or whatever, but you go to the desert, it's like, hey, this is, this is an okay place. You're not gonna die, you're not gonna get hurt. It's flat ground. It's out in the middle of nowhere. You could ride a 50 around the camp if you wanted to. Yeah. You know, you, like there's so many options for people to be able to like share that hobby with you. Than the street. 